we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> All fired up. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, firemen hats and coats. Let's be firemen! In Dragonville! Yeah! And we'll do what real firemen do! Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to the firemen's training center in downtown Dragonville. So, what do real firemen do? Well, first, firemen have to train so they'll be strong. Okay, let's see how fast we can go up and down these ladders. Great idea! Three times. Ready? Go. That's once. That's twice. That's three times. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's be like real firemen and put out a fire. Go get the hose. How do you turn this on? Try pulling on that handle. Like this? <laughs> yeah, like that. Come on! Kid and Kate went out in search of a fire that they could put out like real firemen. There's nothing here for us real firemen to do. Nothing here either. How are we going to be like real firemen without a fire to put out? Hi, what are you doing? We're firemen! And we're looking for a fire to put out. Awesome! Hey, why don't you start a fire for us? No, my mom says I should never play with fire. It's dangerous. Don't worry, we'll put it out with this hose. Are you sure? No problem. <gasps> wow, a real fire. Okay, Kit, put it out. Got it. Kit, over there. I got it. we done? Then along came a mysterious stranger. Do you kitties know how this fire got started? We asked the dragon to start it because we thought it would be easy to put out. But it spread so fast. You started it on purpose? Well, we wanted to put out a fire, like real firemen. But putting out fires is only one thing firemen do. Firemen do lots of other things. Like what? Well, firemen are always on the lookout for fireworks, or matches, or lighters. Because if a kid plays with them, he could start a fire. Right, and firemen teach kids to play safe and stay away from hot things like the stove. So they won't burn themselves by accident, right? Exactly. Now you're thinking like real firemen. We are? I get it. A fireman's job isn't just putting out fires. It's making sure fires don't get started in the first place. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. Only this time, we'll be like real firemen. And try to make sure a fire doesn't start in the first place. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their fireman adventure all over again. But this time, when they finished their training... Look, Kit, fireworks! Don't touch them! Right! I'll go tell a grown-up right away! Hey, don't play near that hot stove! It's dangerous! Sorry. Thank you for spotting these fireworks. A kid really could have gotten hurt. No problem. That's what real firemen do. Right. Hey, we're having a campfire tonight. Would you two firemen like to join us? Sure. Kid and Kate had a wonderful time at the Dragon Family Cookout. And when it was all over, Kit even got to help put out the fire, just like a real fireman. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Something fishy. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, fishing poles. I love fishing. Then let's 
go to Camp Leafy and fish in Lake Hiawasup. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and hurried over to Camp Leafy, where they met up with the other campers. Welcome to Bunk Butternut. Thanks. Which way to Lake Hiawasup? We wish to fish. I'll put it on the schedule. But first, there's volleyball, then bicycling. <coughs> Then you can go fishing. Bunk butternut campers always stick together. I want to wait to fish. I'm bored. I know how we can have fun. We'll play tricks on the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it. Here, hold this. I'll paint this melon so it looks like a volleyball. Sweet! I found it! That's a splat! <laughs> Nap time! Just ran out! Sorry! <laughs> A flat. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it's fishing time. We've been waiting all day for this. Here's bread for bait. Perfect. The fish will come to eat and we'll catch them. I caught a fish. It must be huge. Hey, me too. Let's reel them in. A boo? A top. That's not funny. I quit Bunk Butternut. Our day's ruined. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kiddies? The ducks played a mean trick on us. They knew we wanted to go fishing more than anything. And they spoiled our fun. That's awful. Why would they do that? Did you play any tricks on them? Well, yeah, but they were funny. We gave them a melon instead of a ball. <laughs> and took the air out of their bike tires. Sounds to me like you spoiled their fun. I guess the ducks just did the same thing to us as we did to them. Now I understand. You shouldn't do anything to anyone that you wouldn't want them to do to you. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time we won't be mean and spoil the duck's fun. Right. We'll try to make them feel good and not bad. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their camp adventure all over again. But this time, instead of ruining the duck's fun, they made things even better. Here, we got this special bowl for you. <laughs> we used wood from the art shack to make a cool camp ramp. And when it was time for Kid and Kate to go fishing, the ducks brought along all the bread they could find. Thanks! I bet we catch a lot of fish now. You know what? I think the fish would have more fun if we just fed them instead of catching them. Hey, ducks, can you take this bread to the fish? <coughs> the fish look happy. I'm glad we called off the catch. And now we can catch a ride. So Kid and Kate discovered that if you treat everyone the way you want to be treated, you can all have a great time together. Quiet time. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Kit, look! A tuba and a drum! And marching band hats. We can be a marching band and play music. Sounds good to me. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and marched over to Friendlyville, the friendliest town around. Where are all the friendly people? Maybe they're inside. Look, a library! I bet someone in there would like to hear our music. Oh, musicians, I love
love music. Everyone in Friendlyville does. Great! <laughs> said they love music. Not ours, I guess. Hey, let's try the police station. Wow, a marching band. I love marching bands. Yay! Police station, someone stole your what? Confetti and beach ball? What? What? Hey, you two, stop. You're going to have to leave now. He didn't like our music either. Maybe we didn't play loud enough. How about the nursery school? <laughs> Nap time is so peaceful. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. The children are just crazy about music. Super! <laughs> oh, kids, calm down. Oh, sh -sh 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 -sh. Calm down, please. Please. Let's get out of here. My ears hurt. <laughs> in Friendlyville hates our music. They should call it Grumpyville if you ask me. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We want to be in a marching band and play music. But no one likes it. Really? How can you tell? The librarian said she loves music. But when we played, she asked us to leave. And the policeman said he loves music too. But when we played, he made us stop. And the little kids are crazy about music. But when we played, they all started crying. See? They hated our music. What were the people doing in the library? Reading. And the policeman? Talking on the phone. And the children? Sleeping. Well, do you like noises when you're reading or on the phone or sleeping? No. no. Hey. Maybe they wanted us to stop playing because they needed it to be quiet. Right! Not because they didn't like our music. Ah, now I understand. There are some times and places where you shouldn't be noisy. And others where it's okay. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, we'll be sure to ask if it's okay to play. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their marching band adventure all over again. But this time, instead of playing music when they wanted to, they found out when it would be best for everyone. I love music, but the library is a quiet place. We know. There's a stage in the center of town that's perfect for it. Will you come hear us after the library closes? I'd love to. Hi, we want to invite you to a concert after work. On the stage in town. Count me in. Police station, someone stole your spaghetti and meatballs? Don't worry, sir. We have them right here, safe and warm. We're playing music on the town stage. Bring the kids. <laughs> Kid and Kate finally found the perfect spot for a marching band concert. For you see, when you make music in the right place at the right time, it's all right with everyone. The Blame Game. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, life vests. And boogie woogie boards. Let's canoe down the splishy, splashy river. And then ride the waves at Boogie Woogie Beach. Excellent! Go, Kitty Kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and raced down to the dock on the splishy, splashy river. Get in, Kate! The sooner we get going, the sooner we'll be riding those waves. Just give me a second to... Kit, come back! Ugh! Kate, hurry up! Just hold still so I can... Wait! Ugh, we'll never get to Boogie Woogie Beach. Because you're too slow. No, it's because you're too fast. I blame you. Just stay put. Finally. Now we're getting somewhere. Somewhere called Boogie Woogie Beach. Ah! Ah! Go this way. That way. To the right. No, left. This isn't 
working. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. I blame you. We're heading for the rocks. Now we're stuck in the rocks. It's your fault, Kit. It's your fault, Kate. Uh-oh. The canoe is sinking, Kit. Quick, climb up on the rocks. Bye-bye, canoe. I blame you! Then along came a mysterious stranger. <laughs> What's wrong, kitties? We wanted to go ride the waves at Boogie Woogie Beach, but our canoe got stuck in the rocks. What canoe? I don't see a canoe. It sunk, because Kit made a hole in it. I only made a hole after Kate made a hole. Oh, you're playing the blame game. I heard about this game. How do you win? I win when Kate admits that she sunk the canoe. I win when Kit admits that it's all his fault. And after one of you wins, then you can go to Boogie Woogie Beach? No, we don't have a canoe anymore. Oh, right. It sunk while you were playing the blame game. Ah, now I get it. Blaming each other doesn't help you solve your problems. It just wastes time. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, we won't play the blame game. Right. If we have a problem, we'll figure out how to fix it instead of worrying about whose fault it is. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their river adventure all over again. But this time, when things didn't go just right... Kit, come back! never get to Boogie Woogie Beach. You're too slow. No, it's because you're... Wait, it doesn't matter. Right. I'll hold the canoe steady so you can get in. Thanks. I'm ready. Then let's go. Ah! ah! We knew it was going to do that. Yeah, but it's still scary. We're heading for the rocks. Again! It's because you... No, you! It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Hold on! Great job, Kate. Come on, Kit. We said we wouldn't play the blame game. You're right. So, how do we get out of here? Maybe we can use our paddles. To push ourselves off. Ugh. It's working! Great, Great idea, idea, Kate! Kate. Next stop, Boogie Woogie Beach. Aloha, kittens. You ready to hit the waves? Yeah! Well, just don't blame me if it's too much fun. <laughs> and from then on, Kit and Kate never played the blame game again. Because when the blame game ends, the fun can begin. Excellent! Just desserts. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate. A watering can and straw hats. We can be dessert farmers. Yeah, and grow cookies. Sweet. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the general store. Hi, do you sell seeds? We want to grow some desserts. Let me guess, you're hoping to win that blue ribbon today for best dessert in the county fair? I guess we are now. Well, I've got blueberry flambe trees, zesty cupcake bushes, lemon tart plants. How about some good old chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, we're old school. I'll make the holes, and you drop the seeds. Then I'll cover, and you water. Right. You poke, I'll plop, you squish, I'll splash. Great! Let's collect them. I'll carry the basket and you put them in. Sure! Let's go! We're gonna win that blue ribbon for sure! Yeah! Oops! Dropped one. I'd hate to see it go to waste. Hey, no fair! I want to taste one too. 
We got the winning cookies. We got the winning. Oh. What's wrong, Kit? Ooh. Tell me, Ake. I'll be right back. Are you all right, Kit? Oh, oh my stomach. <sighs> Hurry up, Kit. I gotta get in there. What happened to us, Kate? It must be the cookies we ate. You're right. We better dump them. Oh, it's so much for winning that contest. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kittens? It seems you're not feeling well. Terrible is more like it. Oh. We threw chocolate chip cookies, but they made our tummies hurt. Why? Did you eat too many of them? No, I only ate one. Me too. Ugh. Strange. I've never heard of anyone getting a stomach ache from just one cookie. Are you sure you didn't eat something else? No. Hey, what is that on your paws? Dirt. I had to dig the holes. Oh, some of the dirt from my paws got on the cookie I ate, and that's what made me sick. But my hands weren't dirty. Wait, but your cookie fell on the ground, remember? Oh, right. So that's how dirt got into my tummy. Now I understand. If you don't want to get sick, you have to wash your hands before you eat. And never eat food that fell on the ground. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. And this time, we'll make sure no dirt gets into our tummies. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their farming adventure all over again. But this time, they were careful not to eat anything that could be dirty and make them sick. Better throw that cookie away, Kit. We don't want anyone to get sick from it. Good idea. And let's go wash our hands so we can give our cookies a taste. They're all clean. Now it's your turn, Kit. Thanks, Kate. Now all the dirt is gone. Mm, delicious! And this year's winner for best dessert goes to Kit and Kate! I sure hope the judge washed his hands. Oh, oh, excuse me. I guess he did it. One big mess. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, flight helmets. Let's be jet pilots. Yeah! And do supersonic loop de loops. Go, go Kitty Kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate took off from their magical box and flew nonstop to the Supersonic City Airport. Vroom, 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 vroom. Excuse me, sir. Ooh, ooh, mayday, mayday! Woo! Didn't see you kitties come in. What can I do you for? We'd like to fly a jet, please. Sure, how about that one? Wow! Hmm, where did I put that key? All right, it's back in my office. I'm kind of busy right now, so feel free to go on in and find that key. I know it's in there. No problem. We'll be flying in no time, Kate. Sorry, it's a bit messy. Yeah, just a bit. If you just put these things back on the shelves, I'm sure you'll find that key in there. This is one big mess. There's no way we can clean up all of this and find that key. I know what to do. This magnet will find the key. Watch. I think I got it, Kate. That's a fork. Look out. Did you find it? No. Well, I know it's in there. Well, if you can't go through, go under. Are you sure this is the right way? Oh, yeah. That key should be right over our head. Did you find it? Not exactly. I know it's in there. 
We'll just go out to the middle of the room and look straight down. It'll be so much easier to see it from up here. Hey, thanks for bringing my stuff down from the attic. Did you find that key? No. I know it's in there somewhere. Forget it, Kate. We'll never find that key. Yeah, and it's already getting dark. So much for flying today. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter? We wanted to go flying, but we couldn't find the key to the jet. Why not? It's lost in the middle of a really messy office. Yeah, it's just one big mess. One big mess? You mean it's all stuck together? Don't be silly. It's a lot of little things in a big pile. Well, could you put away one of those things? Sure. How about two little things? No problem. And how about three? Now I understand. A big job isn't so big if you see it as lots of little jobs. Now that kind of thinking is the key to success. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time we'll remember that if you need to do something big, just do a little at a time. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their supersonic adventure all over again. But this time, instead of thinking they had to get through one big mess, they looked at their job a little differently. A big job's nothing but a bunch of little ones. A bunch of little ones, a bunch of little ones A big job's nothing but a bunch of little ones Move a bunch of ounces and soon you move the ton Look, Kit! I found the key! I knew it was in here! Come on, Kate! It's time for a little fly! 